Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice plus right 400 watt probe start green metal halide bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought off eBay for $18, so that was really nice and cheap if you ask me. Now I do believe there is a red and blue colored metal halide bulb made by plus right as well, but I haven't encountered any of those other colored metal halide bulbs yet. But if I do, I'll make a video of those colored metal halide bulbs in a separate video for you viewers to watch. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at the etch real quick and not waste any more time here. Let's look at the etch right now and see what information is on this lamp. So anyways, I'm going to point it into some type of light source so we can get a good view of it as well. So, there we go, get a good focus. You can see the company name up top, it's obviously a plus right. Under it is the wattage, it's obviously a 400 watt. And under it is the ANSI code, or the ballast type I should say, it's the M59. And it's recommended for enclosed fixtures, since there's no shield around the arc tube. I do not believe Plus Right makes shielded colored metal halide bulbs. I do not believe they make um, open rated colored metal halide bulbs. They make only enclosed rated metal halide that are colored. So um, under it, you can see the letter R to your left on the near bottom, meaning that this bulb will emit UV radiation if it punctures, breaks, or cracks, or any type of thing that makes the bulb crack or break or shatter. And right on the right side of it, right next to the letter R, is the warning symbol of mercury as usual, since all of these lamps contain mercury in the arc tube as well. It's very tiny, as you can see. And under it is the bulb code, and it's actually a kind of a complex one, but I'm a lighting enthusiast, and I know what these bulb codes mean, so that means I can tell it to all of you. So um, we'll start from the left and end on the right. You can see it's an MH400 slash U, universal burning position. I'll also be putting the burning position in the description below of this video, so you'll see that as well. So, MOG meaning mogul base, since I don't believe there is a medium base on a elongated dimple 37 bulb, because this is an elongated dimple 37, and this is a huge lamp. It's a, like nearly a foot long. This is like 11 inches in height. And this is what surprised me, and this is why I'm making this video of this colored metal halide bulb. The GDX, meaning Green Deluxe. This is probably just my best guess, but let me know if, if anybody knows what it really means, let me know in the comments below. But this is just my best guess of Green Deluxe. So the G meaning green and the DX meaning deluxe. So if anybody knows what the real meaning of the GDX means on this green metal halide bulb, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, now that we're done with the etch, I might as well show you the construction real quick of this lamp. And by the way, this is actually a brand new metal halide lamp, as a fun fact. So, you can see the stem right there, and the base torqued onto the glass of the lamp. You can see all the wires from the base, and going into the, the stem, and therefore getting welded, and processed to get to the arc tube to produce light. So as you can see, here's the wires, there's the probe start resistor. You can see the probe circuit very clearly as well. And that's a fun fact about green metal halide bulbs. And um, here's the arc tube itself. As you can see, there are no coatings of ceramic on the arc tube. And my best guess is that the R2 gets really hot and the halide salts in the R2 are a bit different. If anybody knows what the halide salt chemicals are of green metal halide bulbs, let me know in the comments below. But as you can see, the R2 is completely clear. There's no coatings of ceramic on the R2 because of the fact that this R2 produces a lot of heat. And if there was coating of ceramic on the R2, um, the R2 would basically overheat and melt and possibly explode and rupture. But as for white metal halide bulbs, like, you know, 4,000K and 5,000K metal halide bulbs, um, they do have coatings of ceramic on the arc tube for, like, universal burning position lamps. I'll show you an example, or the difference, I should say, between this green metal halide bulb and a normal white metal halide lamp. So, 
Here's my GE 400 watt metal halide bulb. As you can see, the arc tube is coated with white ceramic on both ends of the arc tube, meaning that the halide salts are a bit different in the arc tube. It's sodium iodide and bromide. But as for this one, um, you can see that the arc tube basically needs more heat to keep the halide salts in a gas type. If, however, the arc tube shifts, in, if the, um, if one of the metal halide um, salts in the arc tube um, turn back into a solid, the lamp shifts in color, and therefore you need to probably get your lamp replaced. But um, anyway, as for the green metal halide bulb, the arc tube produces more heat, and therefore the halide salts stay in a gas more, and then therefore you, you get your green light coming out of the arc tube. And um, that's why it's clear instead of white coatings of ceramic on both ends. So therefore you can clearly see the probe circuit. So that's what I like about this lamp. See the probe start resistor, I just, I just, I probably showed you that just now. Here's the ceramic tube just to prevent heat from melting this lead wire because of the intense heat from the arc tube. There's the getter right there. You can see this little electrode on the arc tube. And um, here's the dimple, of course. I'm not sure. Sorry, that was just my Amazon Echo. My bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But as you can see, here's the dimple for extra support for the whole bulb itself and the arc tube. All right, and we also have a hard aluminum base with a ceramic insulator. I don't know why the ceramic insulator is white. It should be green. But anyways, let's not worry about that. All right, now I'm gonna give you some specifications about this lamp and then I'll turn it on. So this particular green metal halide bulb here produces 58,000 lumens. So it's actually the brightest 400 watt metal halide bulb that I have in my collection. Normally, I have um, a Pulse Start 400 watt metal halide and they produce 40,000 lumens. And Probe Start, the highest one is 39,000 if I remember correctly. But this one, however, is the highest one that I have in my collection. So anyways, it's actually, plus the lumen output, is 50, it's 58,000 lumens. And it's also equivalent to a 1,000 watt clear or deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. So that's a fun fact about that as well. And um, the average lifetime on this bulb is actually, get this, 5,000 hours. So that is a very short time. That's like about six months and 24 days. So that is a very short time. So I'm not going to use this bulb very much. But normal metal halide 400 watt lamps have an average life of 15 to 20,000 hours. But yeah, let's not worry about that. But um, And the wavelength is 535 nanometers or green and is not dimmable. The reason why I say um, wavelength is because it produces a different color other than white. So if I have, if I make a white metal halide bulb video, then I represent the color temperature. But if I represent a different colored metal halide bulb, I represent the wavelength in nanometers. So anyways, um, I believe that's that, and uh, the burning position is obviously universal according to the etch on the lamp. And don't think that the coatings of ceramic on the arc tube will fool you. This is still a universal burn position, except it's a different type of metal halide lamp. You don't see this very often. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it into my fixture here. And I have my Venture 400 watt. Metal halide slash mercury vapor ballast kit ready to operate a metal halide lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it in very tightly to make sure every connection is um, sturdy and connects together. I'm going to go ahead and shut this light in the room here so we can get a better view of it turning on. And before, by the way, this is a high lumen output, so always wear safety goggles when you're testing HID lamps. So if you don't, you will be it blinded by the light. So this is why I am wearing welding goggles. So I'm going to put them on. Now we'll set the camera on the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bowl itself and the arc tube turning on. All right, enough of me talking. Let's turn on this green metal halide lamp. Here we go.
anyway, the bulb is at full brightness and yep, it is really green in here. Look at this. This is actually really accurate. So as you can see, the bulb lights up this room quite nicely in green instead of white. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice plus right 400 watt probe start green metal halide bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.